NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg convened a meeting of the NATO Ukraine Council at Kyiv's request. The meeting was held at ambassadorial level. At the same time, the Ukrainian Defense Minister Rustem Omerov briefed allies on the battlefield situation and priority capability needs. The meeting comes after recent waves of heavy Russian strikes against Ukrainian civilians and infrastructure. Russia launched missile and drone attacks targeting scores of Ukrainian regions and killing at least five people a day after Moscow's biggest air attack of the war on its neighbor. According to Forbes, Russia spent from 1.2 to 1.3 billion dollars on this missile attack on Ukraine on Monday. Russia used 127 missiles and 109 attack drones. Air Force Commander Mikola Ushuk said earlier, the defense forces of Ukraine managed to shoot down 201 targets, 102 missiles and 99 drones. This is Russia's most massive air attack, Ushuk informed. There were more missiles only on February 24, 2022, the first day of the full-scale invasion of Russia. 160 missiles were fired then. But uh, this number also includes short-range ballistic missiles, which may indicate the inclusion in the overall calculation of the use of tactical missiles by the Russian Federation on the front line. Another attack of comparable scale took place on December 29, 2023. At that time, Russia launched 122 missiles and 36 drones, 155 targets at all. They were worth at least $700 million, according to Forbes. In Monday's attack, Russia used three Dagger L ballistic missiles, or Kinjals, six Iskander, or KN-23 North Korean ballistic missiles, 77 Ha-101 cruise missiles, 28 caliber sea-based cruise missiles, 10 Ha-59 and Ha-69 guided air missiles, three Ha-22 cruise missiles and 109 Shahed drones. Even before this massive attack, the head of the armed forces, Alexander Sirsky, reported that Russia had launched a total of 9,627 missiles and almost 14 southern drones over Ukraine. Probably Ukraine still needs more air defense systems and permission to strike deeper into Russian territory at the airfields from where the planes that bomb Ukraine take off.